I'm Andrew Anthony, and welcome to the 60 Second Check-In, your fun, quick look into the best of gospel art, entertainment, and culture. The goal for our special guest is to answer as many questions as they can within one minute. Today, our special guest is Bishop Garfield Wilson. Hey, Andre, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Welcome to the show. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure to be on the show. This is a question game, and your goal is to answer as many questions as you can within one minute. If you say, I don't know, or pass, they both count as a pass. Okay. Are you good to go? All right, I, let's, let's give this a try and see how I do. We're going to put one minute on the clock, and go. What's your legal name? Garfield Wilson. What's your favorite movie? Uh, the Blind Side. What's the nickname your friends call you? Uh, G. What keeps you motivated? Uh, purpose. If churches want to have more men attend, where should they try holding their services? Say that again, I didn't hear that. <laughs> if churches want to have more men attend, where should they try holding their services? Uh, outside. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Fish. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I'd want to be taller. What job could you never imagine doing? Um, surgery. Surgeon. What's the best thing you've ever eaten? Ice cream. What's your favorite city or town in the world? Uh, Vegas. What's the hardest part about pastoral ministry? I think the hardest part about pastoral ministry is when you're dealing with people who are going through issues and you don't really have the answers that are needed to, to help them. And even though you advise them as best as possible, you still have to watch them going through the same thing daily and just anticipating that, you know, change will come their way soon. So I think that's very difficult. What do pastors do during the week? During the week, a lot. You're following up on persons that you're dealing with. You're having counseling sessions. You're preparing for sermons. You are doing devotionals in different places. You may be invited to do different things. Sometimes there are those one-off things that happen that you didn't expect to happen, like a sudden call, uh, maybe to the hospital, especially like pre-COVID, or you have to pop into somebody's house or, or something like that. So, it's quite a hectic week um, for ministers. How has the pandemic changed your week? I have to do more from home. That is a major change because a lot of what I would do would be on the road or in dedicated spaces, but now I have to do most things from home. What's the best advice that you've been given as a pastor? Uh, the best advice I have been given is to stay humble and to value people. <laughs> What's your favorite part about being an actor? Just to be myself, even though I'm in character, I'm still being myself. And, and that brings about a balance and it makes it fun for me. But also to play roles that I know can impact the audience. And you also did set design. What inspired you to start doing things like that? Growing up in the rural part of Jamaica, you know, you have to take the hands-on approach because a lot of the things that people can afford to buy, you're not able to, to buy them. So you end up making them yourself or you fix one that is broken to make it work. So from I was a child, I've been very hands-on. And so I, I grew up with that mentality that I should give things a try. I totally enjoy set design. It's being able to create something that's going to play a major role in a play. And just to know that I could contribute like that is really, really exciting. What's next for you? Rethinking how I do ministry. Pre-pandemic, you know, some things were taken for granted. Now we have to do more impactful ministry. And for me, it's just developing ministry in such a way that it can be pandemic proof. Is there any way people can contact you? They can contact me on Facebook. It's Garfield Wilson and Instagram or, or WhatsApp if they have my number or they can call the church. And then they can hire you for the next acting job. Well, they could. And set design. 
and set design. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I thank mean, you so much for having me. I mean, I appreciate it. And I, I love what you're doing. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button and hit subscribe for more great content. Uh, I, I'm sitting next to a vent. I, you're not hearing it. No, it's probably my computer that you're hearing. Okay. So I, I'm putting ice packs on my computer to stop the fan. <laughs> that feel like a minute? Let's do it again, just to be safe. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me turn on my fire a little. Hold on. Yeah. All right. So are you ready to go? Hold on, hold on again. All right. All right, so I'm going to put one minute on the clock. And go. What's the best You're thing you can up. eat? You're breaking up. Oh, okay. Am I still breaking up? Ice cream. Oh, let me start over. Ah, uh, you're good now. You're good now. But you okay, okay. make a trend here. Growing up in the in the the oh, um, you kinked out. Say, say it one more time. You know, how was that? That was good. I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button and hit subscribe for more great content.